when you, when you so woke not up a bad morning, day. Um, this morning I just tried my best to just stay calm. It's gonna be a long day, so I just tried to get my mind off of things and just know that if I executed throughout the day and just try to stay as close as possible to like my daily routine, I'd be just fine. How'd the workload feel? Oh man, I didn't even know you run that fast until you look up and you see the time. You just gotta relax, execute. It's kind of an out of body experience. You don't even feel like you're running, so man, it's unexplainable. All right, what's this last year been like for you? Just to go from not being able to compete last year to now winning two man, national titles? After last year, I remember being in the 100 and watching Jenna win the 100 and come back in the two. and. You just don't think that's gonna be me next year. You just don't, that doesn't ever cross your mind. You just think that, man, I have a lot to work up to, but to come out today and do that, it's just, man, it's, I don't know, it hasn't hit me yet. So why did it happen? What, I mean, what, what worked for you? What worked? I think um, throughout the year, I just kind of, I got I used to get really nervous and um, overthink everything. And today I just kind of, you believe it, you see it, and you let go. and things work out the way they do. Did the 4x4 four four today kind of give you guys a spark as a team? I know you finished third, but yeah. you know, with the, with a couple band-aids, it, it seemed like it was a pretty good race for you. Um, you know, the 4x1 is always like a, a warm-up for me. And uh, I think after 4x1, I, I, I had a good feeling of how I was gonna do in the 100, just trying my best to get my team up there. Um, you do what you can, you can't really worry about the first three legs, you just gotta do your part. And so getting third was kind of like a, you know, we put this relay together just yesterday, so to come out there and run the time that we did, we're absolutely happy with it, and I couldn't be any more proud of those three girls. Well, you just shared a very emotional moment with your mom. What did she tell you? Oh, she was just like, I love you so much, and your grandparents looking down on you, man. My grandparents were my favorite people in the entire world, and I lost both of them um, last summer and the summer before that on my birthday, so it's been really hard, and it just, you believe that they're with me all the time, and I just know no matter what, they're gonna get me through, and, Man, my mom's like my best friend, so that was really emotional. What's when your what, mother's name? My mother, Yuna, E-U-N-A. When it finally hits you, do you have any idea what it's gonna be like? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if it's ever gonna hit me. It might not hit me till next year and I get on the line and say I'm the defending national champion, so. Oh man, what a ride. Raven.